Welcome to Alphabet City. This is the show that covers everything to do with Alphabet. Alphabet happens to own lots of companies like Loon, X, Waymo, and Google. I'm your guide, Aya Zaktar, and you are the glorious audience. Today we're talking about smart shoes, Google Plus, and your comments. But first up, it's time to talk phones. On to Android Avenue. Get ready to be shocked. The Galaxy S10 leaked again. WinFuture.de says it has official press renders of the S10. Take a look. It looks like what we saw last week with the Infinity O display on the S10. The S10 Plus has that pill-shaped cutout. The S10 has a 6.1 inch screen. The 10 Plus packs a 6.4 inch display. WinFuture also published images of the budget S10. The site says it'll be called the Galaxy S10e. I'll say that the E stands for economy. On the E, you get two cameras on the back, one on the front. There's no curved sides on the 5.8 inch display. If you wanted a flat Galaxy S, you're in luck. The fingerprint sensor would be located on the power button and not under the screen like the other two S10s. XDA developers found the FCC filings for the S10 and found out that the S10 will support reverse wireless charging and Wi-Fi 6, also known as 802.11ax. On Twitter, a leaker says he's got the full list of S10 models and pricing. The E would cost around 750 euro. The S10 would have two variants, one at 899 euro, the other at 1,149 euro. The S10 Plus would have three configurations, ranging from 999 euro to 1499 euro. For some reason, Meizu is introducing a phone with no buttons and no ports. It's called the Meizu Zero. The company says it's the world's first holeless phone. Is that something to brag about? I don't know. Meizu is holding a campaign on Indiegogo with a $100,000 goal. As of this recording, Meizu has raised less than a third of that. What about specs? Well, it's got wireless charging, a virtual side button, an underscreen fingerprint sensor. There's no headphone jack or USB-C or SIM tray or even a speaker grill. The Zero vibrates the display for audio. If you want a Zero, it'll cost you $1,299 for the exclusive engineer unit. So far, 20 out of the 100 have been claimed. Let's go to Uptown Updates. According to a new report from CNBC, Verily is working on smart shoes. Apparently, the company has a prototype of these smart shoes that can detect movement, the weight of the wearer, and can also detect falls. Verily is looking for partners to co-develop the shoes. The CNBC report also says it is not known whether the project is still active. Verily is Alphabet's life sciences division. Loon announced a deal with Telesat, where Loon will deliver a network operating system that Telesat can use to support its global low Earth orbit satellite constellation. Telesat is a Canadian satellite communications company. Loon has experience building a network of balloons that provide internet while the balloons and the Earth are moving. Loon is going to adapt its software so Telesat's new satellites can work in a similar manner. Last week, Google and Apple got into a scuffle. Apple stopped Google from distributing its internal-only iOS apps because Apple said Google was in violation of Apple's app policies. The two companies have made nice, and now Google can go back to its apps. Gmail got a visual refresh. I hope you like seeing a lot of white. Beyond cosmetics, you'll be able to see attachments without opening or scrolling through the thread. Google Plus will be dead on April 2nd. If you want, you can download your Google Plus data. Go to takeout.google.com and select your Google Plus stuff. Let's go to Comment Cove. This is the part of the show where we shine a spotlight at the most amazing audience in the world. You. You guys had plenty to say about LG's tease of gesture control on a new phone. Death Care says, I kind of miss all the useless gestures on older Samsung phones. They were stupid, but fun. Teo says, I know it may sound stupid, but more gesture support is good. Test it. Gesture as if you're scrolling through the comments. It's way more comfortable. The lack of friction feels a lot smoother. Cavish explained, whatever LG is trying to show has been done by Microsoft in the Nokia McLaren phone. This is nothing new. They called it 3D Touch. Now, I'd never heard of the McLaren. I found a video from Windows Central that shows off the phone, and it's really interesting. Thanks to everyone for writing in. If you've enjoyed your stay in Alphabet City, please like and subscribe. I'm Aya Zaktar, and I'll see you online. One more bit of news. YouTube Music is now available on Sonos speakers. One more comment. Dustin asks, why do you always have to rotate your arms every time you try to point to us? Well, that's a fascinating question. It all started when I caught the ferry to Shelbyville. I needed a new heel for my shoe, so I decided to go to Morganville, which is what they called Shelbyville in those days. So I tied an onion to my belt, which was the style at the time. Now, to take the ferry cost a nickel, and in those days, nickels had pictures of bumblebees on them.